Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Hearthstone Curse of Nax Ramus. I am Dewey, and that is Tom, who's talking here. Yes, and Dewey, this is your like first time experiencing Hearthstone. Yeah, I've seen like pros for League of Legends playing it in between queues, but other uh, than that, Tom, you're going to have to really explain to me what's going on here. All right, so in general, it's a card game. Uh, it's one I really like a lot. It's simplified Magic the Gathering is a reasonable what? way to explain How it, I think. How did you gain entrance to Nexramus? And this is an expansion that's actually single player. Okay. So, so it's kind of like, are you playing against like computers and that kind of stuff, bots or, or something similar? Yeah, we're going to be playing against AI and it is, um, I mean, they're also expanding like the cards that are available okay. and therefore kind of refreshing the, the, the way that people play the game. Let's go ahead and open up the Arachnid Quarter, the first wing of Curse of Nexus. See how we got a little chest there? So it looks like we have three different enemies we have to face till we get to the chest. Seems right. Anubricon is one of my finest spider lords. Good luck. This is Interloper. Kel'Thuzad talking some shit to us. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's go wreck a new Brakan, shall we? Awesome. It looks like we should note that he's he's got a hero power for two mana. He can summon a three-one spider dude, which is pretty strong. Okay. Now, are you going into it with decks that you've already made before, or is it like decks that they select for you? These are decks that I have made before. I'm trying okay. to think of which one might be best to play against this. I'm going to go ahead and play my Ramp Druid, I think. Okay. I think that'll do fairly well. Ooh. Mm. So the concept behind this deck is to make it to the late game and sort of ramp your mana. It, it's similar to a ramp deck and an elf okay. deck in Magic the Gathering. I know Dewey's played Magic the Gathering. I That's have. why I'm <laughs> using that to explain. There'll be many Magic the Gathering references here. Yeah. All right. Welcome now, he's going to have cards that I've never seen before. Protect okay. And also, he's got that uh, that hero power that's really strong. Like, the, the Paladin's hero power is two mana, summon a 1-1 one, one minion. Oh. And this is a 3-1. So those are going to pack quite a bit more of a punch. And we got this dark, oh, ominousness <laughs> around our, uh, our board. And Hearthstone's not all serious. We've got little things that we can click. <laughs> nice. Trying to find all of them. Okay, so it has so the the enemy monster has two attack and one health or one attack one health or two health. Sorry. <laughs> one attack two health. One attack two health. Okay. Oh, yeah. there's the sword. I got you. Yeah. All and right. yeah, this is actually a, a new card from the expansion. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just ignore it for now. So it actually gets a little bit harder to deal with once it's been killed. That death rattle means that it will turn into two minions once it dies. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Wild Growth in order to uh, basically have more mana for all of my things between Don't now go. and when I hit 10 mana, which is the maximum in the game. Oh, so okay. now tasty morsels. Oh. Oh. And he counters by just dropping that Nerubian with his hero power. All right, I see you have a total of 30 health to start out with. Mm -hmm. Can you ever get higher than that? Yes, really? you can. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I believe you can heal higher than 30 health. No, you can't. That's a total lie. <laughs> That's just totally false, actually. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead. So I've got a couple ways, actually, that I could approach this. I think I actually want to maintain control of the board as well as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my Keeper of the Grove. I, I then get to choose two activatable effects when it comes out. I'm going to choose to deal two damage to his 3-1. Is that the that was his special summon? Yeah. Okay. He has a, a battle cry when he comes out. I guess it doesn't actually say battle cry, but it, it is. He just froze your your guy. Yeah. He just used a combination of a mage card and a sh a warlock card, which is absolute shenaniganry. <laughs> um. All right, there's a few different approaches that I could take here. This, by the way, is not like a, a tournament caliber competitive deck. It's something I play on ladder, Wait, but I don't play this game particularly seriously. Okay. Um, particularly this Gadget Zan auctioneer. Good players don't have that in their, <laughs> in their ramp decks. But I've found some love with it. All right, he's going to go ahead and sacrifice 
into that in order to get his two one ones rather oh. than his one. Now, do you ever have a choice of what you can block? Like, is there a blocking phase in the game? No, there's not at all. In fact, okay. you can't do anything during your opponent's turn. Oh, okay. Ever. So, yeah, it, it speeds gameplay up a bit, which is mm -hmm. rather nice. Um, he played another new card, Shade of Naxxramas. It is stealthed, meaning I can't target, I can't attack it, and I can't target it with pretty much anything. Um, and it gets plus one, plus one at the start of his turn. Okay, does that stack? Yeah. Ooh. So it can just sit there and bide its time to get huge. And because of that, I'm almost thinking that I should try and put him on a clock by attacking him rather aggressively. So, rather than killing a 1-1, one, one, I'm going to choose to do 4 damage to the face. Okay. So alternatively, you could have killed one of them so that way they couldn't attack you forever. Right. But right now, because my Druid of the Claw has taunt, oh. everything has to attack him anyhow. He goes ahead, clears his board, rocks him. And makes <laughs> nice. an ex exceptionally weak play in um, dropping Stone Skin Gargoyle. I see that that's really weak because I can just kill it with my gadgets in immediately. <laughs> um, and draw a whole lot of cards for my trouble, actually. I think the best way to play this turn is to Wrath his 3-1 and draw a card. I'll also draw another card due to the effect on my gadgets and Auctioneer. Whenever I cast a spell, I get to draw a card. And then I'm gonna Nourish to draw three cards. But actually at that point, uh, I think I'll have eight cards in my hand. I'll draw one at the start of my next turn. Hand limit is nine, so I should be fine, unless I'm miscalculating something. Okay. <laughs> Time to pay! Job done. Four, five. We <laughs> might have nine cards at the when this is all said and done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, excellent. Max out, do you draw a card at the beginning of your turn? Yeah, we draw a card at the beginning of our turn, and if you have 10 in your hand, the card is just discarded. Oh. Which in this game means gone forever. There are not ways of drawing discarded cards. All right, so we need to start putting a little bit more pressure out on the board, I feel. I'm going to go ahead and summon an Ancient of War. And he has two different forms. You can get five attack and... Or, sorry, ten attack and five defense. Or five attack and ten defense and taunt. And I'm going to choose that one in order to help defend my head and auction. Okay. I think I might... No, I don't really need to kill that. I'll go ahead and take the damage to his face. I guess, you know, he only does one damage. You deal for him. That's a positive trade on your end. Yeah. Is that the thing that's just sitting there getting power? Holy what? Oh, he summoned his other dude. Summoned his hero power there. He just attacked kind of recklessly into me there. So he shadow flamed a 1-4, meaning he killed his own minion and dealt one damage to all of my minions. He could have done that on his Shade of Nax Ramus to deal three to all of them and kill the Gadget Sand Auctioneer. <laughs> Would have been a lot better. Uh, but, you know, it's not it's not perfect. Come on, AI. Step your game up. <laughs> up your game, scrub. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's any way to kill him right now. I don't think so, though. I don't think I quite have enough damage. Is that something you're constantly looking for, is like a way to finish that turn? Yeah, a way to just win immediately. Yeah, you never want to overlook that if you can avoid it. So I'm going to go ahead and just Faceless Manipulator, my 5-6, I think. There's yeah. bigger minions in this deck that I could potentially hold out for. But I'm going to go ahead and deal 2 damage to this with the Keeper of the Grove ability and then deal 9 to his face. Wow. He's getting, he's getting down there. Yeah, we're, we're working him over. He has to do something pretty quickly here to either kill you or convince you that you can't win this turn. Right. He slowed it down a little bit by freezing this. Oh. Okay. But we actually can still kill him, anyhow. Well, let's, first off, let's see what we played. Death Rattle, return a random friendly minion to your hand on the Anubar Ambusher, and then just his hero power. But, let's just go ahead and kill him. Let's swipe in our hand and deal four damage. 
finish that off to his face. Oh, very nice. That you beat the, the first guy in this uh, mission. Yeah, the new Bracar did in fact get a new breath. Defeat the Grand Widow. Well, Kel'Thuzad, he likes to talk shit. Of <laughs> <laughs> and we get two haunted creepers, which are those one-two spiders that a new Brakan summoned. Okay. And we will see you guys for the next section of the Arachnid Quarter. It is uh, going to be the Grand Fair Widow Fairy. is training acolytes to worship me. Her job is very important. Do not disturb her. All right, we'll see you guys then. Yeah.